Hello, Bravs. We're back with another ghost story. Again, from Coffin Hollow and other ghost tales by Ruth M. Music. As I've stated before, I will continue to read the short ones since I am embroiled in too many books that I shouldn't be reading. The Seated Lady, a favorite tale of the old people in Jane Lou, West Virginia, had its setting in a long-forgotten cemetery in the area. Among the gravestones there had been a remarkable one of marble, a statue of a seated lady with outstretched hands. The woman for whom the statue had been erected had died of a broken heart when her fiancé married another woman. Years later, the young people of the community started a club. As new members joined the organization, an initiation was required. Each new member had to spend one night sitting in the statue's lap. All went well until one very dark, moonless night. At the appointed time, a young girl stole from her home and hastened to the cemetery. There she cautiously made her way through the tombstones to the seated lady. Trembling, she sat in the marble lap. Although she did not know it, this girl had more reason to be frightened than others. She happened to be a direct descendant of the traitorous fiancé. The citizens of the community did not sleep well that night. Something kept their nerves on edge. They did not know what they feared. The next morning, the young girl was discovered, still sitting in the statue's lap. She was dead. On her body were found marks as though she had been held in a superhuman clinch. Perhaps the seated lady had gained revenge. Oh, it sounds like a murder. But yeah, ghost. Goodbye.